Yeah, we want we want to add something. Yeah, we're gonna add on because uh, I did the engine, no doubt about that. But Maury did all the, the beautiful work here. And if you guys got any questions, you can call him up uh, through me, six two six two zero three two seven one two. But anyway, here's Maury. He's gonna explain to you guys what he did. Okay, so yeah. Maury yeah, just, just basically all I did was uh, give the engine more uh, detail. Um, you know, some of the guys like to pull their hood up off the uh, off the car when they have to track. Mm -hmm. And then we open it up, and we really want to see something. So, not only the engine going to run good and be fast, but it also going to look good. So, I just dressed it up a little bit, a little polishing with the valve covers, yeah. uh, stainless steel hoses with the, uh, with the uh, aluminum fittings. I run fittings on everything. Mm -hmm. uh, no rubber hoses, just everything is screw on. For safety's sake, no rubber hoses. Yeah, show no. them what you did there with the uh, oil pump layout. With the oil pump, yeah. I ran the... Uh, the hamburger pump on the back, uh, run directly. You see the inner and you see the exit. Um, it's mounted real solid. Solid. Mm -hmm. And uh, also it has the stainless steel, I mean the steel braided holes, solid mount so it won't leak or anything like that. Brand new holes, clean and everything so it's ready to go. Uh, here you got the Moroso uh, vacuum pump uh, canister, uh, also screw on. Stainless steel holes going to it, coming from the vacuum pump. Uh, this is basically just like everything, like just basically just keeping everything clean and neat. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, he fashioned this uh, outlet for the water on the block. Yeah, we've got so, the water block here, coming right out of here to the water block and into the top of the radiator. Yes. And the other one on the right side, passenger side, comes out this way. This is a smart thing to do because some people have the Y connection here, like the typical Ford. Sometimes the hot uh, cylinder head, either one's hot or cooler, it'll go to the other side instead of going out to the, to mm. the radiator. Very good information. Okay, Very so good what you want is to split them to different bank so they go independently to the radiator. See, that's why you have two hoses here. Mm -hmm. Okay. The typical okay. Ford has got a thermostat here. That's a no-no. Not for this kind of one. Not, not for, for this scavenger. application. Oh, yes. No, no. Yeah. Because when you have heated, one side is really super hot, it'll go to the other side. Right. You just made a path. Here, it just goes out and vents out. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay, yeah. so that, that's a lot more efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, um, on the bottom radiator holes, I prefer the, uh, the screw on uh, fitting holes, um, actually, the 16, because uh, this to prevent, you know, you run a rubber holes. You know, you might blow holes, and a lot of accidents happen that way. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I just believe in uh, safety first. Mm -hmm. um, just screw on everything, make sure they're tight. You know, and plus just give it more of a clean look. And it's now, I see that you know we have some very fancy, shiny um, alloy work there, aluminum <laughs> alloy work there. Now, what is this new secret recipe for making sure that they don't get scratched? Oh, uh, no, I, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay for that information. That costs yeah, money. I, I can't give up that. So there's, there's a secret of, uh, you know, some of the guys, they put a wrench on these things and screw them up uh -huh. and scratch them up. And, uh, but there's a secret of, uh, to, you know, to fix that so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't give up. I can't give up that, so. I'll give up a lot of things, but I'm not going to yeah, give that so up. <laughs> if anybody wants their eggs and done, uh, 
uh, dressed up like this, race agent, street car agent, I can do it. You yeah, know, it's, it's, done, uh, it's done a good job. Yeah, it's, it's, it's time consuming, but if you want it done right, it'll be done right. So. Now, you know, there's a myth in the racing community that, you know, if you can't make it, go fast. Yeah, we, we know this is going to go fast. Okay. We're going to go fast and pull the hood off, and everybody like, you look like a shot. None of that. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and this little uh, gizmo right here, that's a vacuum uh, to our vacuum gauge. So while we're pulling vacuum through the crankcase with the vacuum pump, this goes straight to the, I'm sorry. the driver's compartment. Just to, yeah. uh, okay, so that's so going straight to the driver's compartment. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll go there, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So that'll tell us how much vacuum we're pulling in the, inside the block. So make sure everything's sealed pretty good, and you're going to be uh, okay there. Yeah. So this is his throttle linkage that he, he uh, configured there. Mm -hmm. Another one of Mari's masterpieces. Well, you can actually buy these from Jags. Yeah, because it yeah. says Jags right yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually buy these from Jags. But I was going to do something to it, but I didn't. Did, I haven't came up with a, um, uh, an idea yet just to uh, make it a little fancy. The other than anodized. You see some of them anodized, black, mm -hmm. green. Right, green, right. Red. But I'm going to come up with a... Later on down the road, I'm going to come up with a solution for that one. You know, and the crazy part about... All these expensive parts, it's not a bolt-on affair. People think, oh, I paid big bucks for this thing. It'll bolt right up. Yeah. I'll be not far a fact that it's not bolt right up. You have to mess with it. Yeah. It's, and uh, trial fit and everything. Yeah. So in fittings alone, how much do you have here? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I, I thought we avoided that topic a while ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can spend a lot of money in fittings. I mean, it depends on which. Like, like for, for example, this this ninety degree turn here. Just just this elbow here and this uh, XRP product here, I believe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that thing there is uh, close to uh, that's about thirty two bucks. Right there, that, right there. One piece and then here. this guy here, so that's sixty. Yeah, that's another. And yeah. then there's two more here. Yeah, the strings okay. are not expensive. But. Well, that's really interesting guys now what about that vanity there yeah that's by, by cnj carburetors uh, i mean you gotta have some from... colorful venturis oh, yeah. life is works. just not the same without yeah, that's uh, really nice good, pretty red venturis yeah. it took uh <laughs> what was his name john at cnj yes and like yeah. three weeks to think about what he's gonna do for us in this thing because he goes i better not get embarrassed yeah, <laughs> yeah i mean he knows this is gonna make power but we were confident that he he does his thing right I usually run my carburetors out of the box, but hey, I've seen his work has been good from some of the cars I've seen, so might as well try it. Right? I mean, he gave us a good deal. Oh, yeah. Chances are, probably gave us what fifty percent discount. Yeah. Well, he should. He's getting a plug right now, and yeah. it's good. this plug's going right. international. CNG carburetors from Santa Fe Springs, bless of course. Yeah, it's this plug is going to go across the pond. Yeah. And then this spacer here again. This one here took me quite a while to to fit this into this manifold because just again this is a CNC part we still need to match it up to the plane we can't show what's inside again we might have to kill you if you saw that. <laughs> so, I think that should have been done in flat black yeah yeah uh, well uh, I mean, it looks, it looks great. but that's me yeah. that's my fashion sense that's basically what and who, who who's this character on the on the valve car? Oh, that's me. Oh, okay. Me, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> the name know. looks familiar. Yeah. 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 So we're good here. We're good. And okay. the headers are coated. Step headers with a merge collector. Ben, um, explain step header. Uh, basically, when the po po uh, when the pipe is too big, coming out of the port, it slows down. What you want is to have a little bit of of, of uh, of diameter, the, the ideal diameter. Okay, what that is, that's, a, that's an open uh, discussion. So while the flow is coming out, it starts to slow down. Okay, then you you want to make it bigger. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's I, I went yeah. trying to zoom out, but yeah. I lost the vision of the yeah. header. But okay. anyway, just to make a long story short, is that while the gases are going down, it starts to slow down, and the back pressure starts to come up. Mm -hmm. In order for you to cut down the back pressure and make the diameter bigger. Yeah, because okay. if it's constantly small while it's going down You lose your consistency. Yeah, you lose your, your, your port velocity okay. or your exhaust velocity. So you want it to give it space. And then over here, same thing. At the you know, collector? At the collector. They all come together there and pick up again, pick up speed. Oh, okay. So step means stepping to different sizes yeah, the step to, maintain, to maintain yeah. velocity or well, well, back well, pressure. Well, when it goes downstream, it slows down because it gets heavy. When it's hot, it, it, it propels itself. Right. 
but then when it goes downstream and then the, the, the temperature drops, then it starts to slow down. Then it starts, uh, okay. Then the back pressure goes up. So what right. do you do to cut down? You make it bigger and bigger and bigger, just to give it expanding space. And Same thing, propelling them down. And how, when do you know that you've gone too far? Car slows down. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, one thing, the old guys... They used to, oh, okay, that's what I was waiting know, for. <laughs> some guys would paint in here, uh, a cheap paint, black paint. Now it's kind of hard to do it here. And then suddenly, the, the black paint will turn white. Then somewhere out here, it stops. Uh -huh. Okay, the, the, chain, the black paint turns white and then suddenly drops and changes the temperature to black paint. Chop it up, and that's where you come That's your collector motorcycle. right there. Same thing with two and one cylinder motorcycles. You paint that exhaust pipe where it will discolorate, and where it changes is where you chop it. You that's know, that's very old information, but a sure. lot of people still don't know that. Yeah, yeah, but that tells you that that's where it starts to mm -hmm. slow down drastically, and that's where you want to benefit the atmosphere. Anybody who's listening, that was a big hint yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's one of those things. Same thing here full throttle, you see a fog. Here on top of the carburetor, you start bringing it up. Okay, because you don't want the pulse to go above the venturi because it affects the venturi. Mm -hmm. Now, if this one didn't have the space, let's say it's all the way down here. At full throttle, lower RPM, you see a fog on top of the carburetor. So you start bringing it up. Those are the reversion pulses. All these reversion pulses, you want it to be below the venturi. Because if it's above the venturi, it upsets the metering. That's why you see guys with long spaces. That's the but of course, this also has a lot to do with altitude. Sure, yeah. sure. And then all of that, you know, you want the planet to be here. You want as much planet as you want here. Mm -hmm. Because if it's too small, it's like everybody robbing from a little pocket. So you give it a little bit more space so everybody has their own fair share. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> everybody has a fair share. <laughs> you got to spread <laughs> the... <laughs> okay, so basically, that's, that's the, the key for, for the planet. Everybody gets a bigger portion of the, the drawn in mixture. If it's too small, there's hardly any reservoir in here. And it becomes a robbing situation between cell and cell. That's it. Anything else? Uh, uh, did we forget anything? Oh, oh, okay, here again. We have, we have to degree this. Good quality dampeners don't have any numbers. You have to make your own TDC marking. All right, so you don't uh, depend on the factory mark as your reference. More likely than not, they're off. So confirm your TDC mark and, and go through and degree your, not your camshaft, degree your dampener. All right, so people degree their, their camshaft, but they didn't degree their dampener. They're reading everything all wrong. So make sure all that is, is, is uh, numbered correctly and, and and right on the money as far as TDC numbers are concerned. Okay, there you go. That's it. Yeah, I'm learning all this too. So. <laughs> so, I, I went from Chevy to Ford. Oh, there you go. A Chevy man. <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Uh, <laughs> on the other side of the fence. They said that, so you've they seen just, the light. Yeah, they said the grass. <laughs> you think the grass is greener on the other side. Uh -huh. yes, well, it's greener and it's higher. And it's higher too, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, 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 I learned. Yeah. 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 I'm still learning. I still know my Chevy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The sport stuff is a little complicated, but it's well, less expensive. You know, the problem with Chevy to begin with is, you know, it started out with a French name. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, but anyway, just for everybody's information, he used to build engines too, so the first time he helped me put this thing together, or assisted me, he, his eyes were open that way. Like, wow, the things that I hadn't really seen or before, so it's a different approach. Mm. You know, and, uh, that's, oh, anyway, also this engine is, uh, is similar to the engine that's powering Irwin's uh, 65 Mustang against Joe Sherman's uh, Chevy March 23rd. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a big race. This is a similar engine except this thing got one four burn. But in actuality, this is stronger than Irwin's. Ooh, Irwin's not going to like that. Yeah, but, uh, Irwin's engine is actually 10 years old. So yeah. this, is brand, this is a brand new build. The technology here is way yeah. ahead. So anyway, that's 10 years ago, but still, still good. Uh, so well, he's, he's kicking uh, butt out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. kicking butt out there with that 10 year old motor. Yeah. Again, again, a lot of people will say, can't be done. There's a blue thunder head. We don't want to copy anybody, of course. If we run fast, oh yeah, it's run fast because it's a D3, it's a SC1 or it's whatever. We ran a blue thunder because nobody runs it. So it's not that we're trying to prove a point, we just want to do it our way. 
We're not going to copy anybody. We're doing our own thing. Okay? We're trying to prove a point. Yeah, okay. I think so. <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay. Anything else? Okay, guys. Uh, one more thing, one more thing. Huey, I'm working hard on this thing. I've been out here three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> working on this thing. Just like I've been out here three weeks there. We've <laughs> 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 been working on this thing. So, yeah. get at home, get <laughs> the computer. I don't know what you're doing, yeah. but. Yeah. Big bro is here working hard. <laughs> okay. And I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as it makes a pass, we're going to be happy. Oh, yeah. All right? Okay. So anyway, this morning do it. And I'm Ben Alameda. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time again. Okay. Thank you. Good day, good night. <laughs>